Um, again, what an interesting college basketball game that was. Um, you know, we didn't have to make it as close as it was, you know, but hats off to uh, Darren Hans's team. They, they, they fight hard. They play hard. That, that's a scrappy group of basketball players, and, and they get after you. And, um, uh, you know, I, I thought that when we were up nine with about two and a half, three to go, I just thought it was just going to be a, a foul situation. Well, we're the ones that are fouling and putting them to the free throw line and stopping the clock. And so wasn't real happy about that. Uh, then we had a couple of turnovers that, uh, that that led to free throws again or baskets. Um, so we just got to clean some of that stuff up. But I tell you what, our guys had some uh, some grit tonight. They, they dug in and, and made the plays uh, when we need to make them. I thought there was a couple of guys that made huge plays down the stretch of that game uh, to keep that lead at about three points um, going to the bottom of the wire. How about that uh, play Brandon talked about getting it in and it ultimately got to, to Trey and he draws the foul and, you know, two seconds left or whatever? Well, Trey was coming over, we're, we're throwing it to Boss, uh, and then we had we had Casey and, and uh, Thosby setting a double a double uh, a cross screen for Trevor to duck in. You know, we, were, we, were, we, we kept telling him, make sure you watch the clock because sometimes, uh, you know, we, we struggle with managing the clock. I did not want the ball to go up and they race to the other end and, and get a layup out of it or anything like that. So we were talking about that during the timeout, just trying to walk them through every little step. But again, it was like North Dakota State. You know, I've, I've told Trevor, you're going to be put in this situation again, and when you do, you, you'll have success. And so we, we were very confident that Trevor was going to come off of that. If we gave him the ball and they fouled him, uh, we were comp uh, confident enough he was going to step up and knock in at least one of those free throws. And uh, you know, they pinched it off and, and knew where the ball was probably going. Trey was standing wide open, threw it to him, and then Trey's smart enough to know he's about to attack that rim, uh, and he did, and, and they fouled him. Uh, not sure about Trey's second free throw. I told him to miss it because they had no timeouts. We had no timeouts. Um, I didn't think he was going to try to shatter the backboard. <laughs> so uh, apparently we got to work on that in practice. Uh, he misses it. If he misses it off the rim, they grab it. That's taken – you know, one dribble and throw on a three-quarters court. If that goes in, then hats off to them, uh, but not let them take it out of bounds. So uh, we'll work on our second free throw with Trey tomorrow. I talk about the final play. I mean, that, that last second and a half, they set it up, and, it, you know, guy Carter's right there. If, if anybody's going to end up with it in his hands, it's probably the guy they would prefer, and uh, he got a great look. So just how nervous – were you guys? Oh, I was. I'm telling you, I got about 25 gray hairs in that last second and a half right there. I was sweating. I mean, I'm just that that, that last three minutes, you guys, lasted about 45 minutes in my in my body, and uh, I don't like it. Uh, I don't like it. I, I love fun games, uh, but it doesn't need to be that way, you know. And but that's been the story of this basketball team, and um, you know what? We came out on top, and that's what I'm excited about. But. Uh, you know, it seemed like they were kind of running like the old Valpo play where you throw up to the big and you tip it. Well, I think we got our hands on that ball at one point. It just kind of ended up in Carter's hands, and thank God the kid missed because that would have been disappointing. That would have been devastating. Talk a little bit about Flack. Obviously, with uh, Trevor out a lot of the time, uh, did quite a bit there down under. Yeah, you know, Trevor, uh, the reason why he was out, I mean, we started him tonight, but – Left practice on uh, on Tuesday and uh, got really sick and was throwing up quite a bit. Thought about getting IVs in him, decided not to do it. Couldn't push no liquids that night. He kept going uh, back to the bathroom. Uh, come uh, Wednesday, he did not practice. He did not do anything with us. He just sat in here and, and just watched our scout. Um, and he was still sick. And so for a day and a half, Trevor really not got. He, he never got any kind of you know. Uh, foods uh, like substance in his body besides Jello and water and, and Gatorade, and you could tell right away in the first three minutes he had nothing in his tank, um, and that that was the result um, of probably his his uh, a little bit of his poor play tonight, you know, and, and just not being as aggressive and not having any kind of explosion to him. Um, but Flack, on the other hand, goodness, uh, he stepped up and was huge. He was really big. But you know, this is Tyler has the ability to have games like this. You know, and uh, he, he's just young yet. And, and I always think guys have huge jumps between that sophomore and junior year. And, and uh, you know, uh, I know people talk about how, you know, what are we going to do without Trevor Groves? Well, you got Tyler Flack. He's got two more years left. That just showed tonight that he has the ability.
to uh, to put up numbers uh, and rebound the ball for us and defend. You know, and I thought he was terrific. Certainly, I mean that was a trend. Tyler, twenty-one sophomore. You know, those be Casey. I mean, a lot of your sophomores really came through in a, in a big time clutch game. Yeah, and again, I'm, I'm I'm not trying to make excuses, but that's that's what I've been trying to harp on is that we have a very good class here that we we are building our program around, and that's our sophomore class. Not saying that our seniors aren't uh, you know important or anything like that, but we got we got two good seniors, we got three we got three juniors, but our core group is our sophomore class, and and. And then, you know, I mean, look, look at these guys. A year from now, uh, they're only going to get much, much better. And so this is this is good to see. Um, but they were big time tonight. 49 points off the bench. I don't think I've seen that here in uh, quite some time. Those being Casper are particularly really big in the second half, too. Yeah, they were, you know. And, and Adam is just, uh, you know, when he gets his feet set, I mean, it's, it's like practice to him, you know. And he's got a beautiful stroke to him. And, Knocking them in, shooting the ball with a lot of confidence. Casey comes in and uh, kind of got himself in the in the lane a little bit with all them little pump fakes. And I mean, those two kids can really shoot it. And they start getting it going. And you add Brandon Boss in there to, to that mix. Um, they get going downhill, and you're pretty good. They they can put up numbers like they did tonight. Brandon didn't have much to say about it, but did, I mean, overall, just the performances the last two games coming off the bench. Do you feel like he's kind of coming around and, and, and getting it back to it seemed like it was more of the aggressive, confident Brandon Boss that we saw early in this year and, and the tail end of last year, at least a little bit of it in flashes. Sure, and again, uh, I had a long talk with Brandon yesterday and, and, and uh, about things, about just relaxing, getting back to having fun, getting back to competing. Uh, maybe I'm putting too much pressure on him. Maybe he's putting too much on himself. Uh, and, and so I just... I'm glad he's starting to just, you know, realize like, hey, you know, let, let's just go out here and play. Let's play. Let's have fun. Let me utilize my teammates. You know, let's try to get them baskets, um, and then get to the free throw line and make make easier shots for himself. And so I thought I thought he was good tonight, though. I, I really did. I mean, he had a big time play at the end of that game. That offensive rebound, put back, mm -hmm. reminded me of the same shot he took at, at Texas State just on the other side to win that game. And so, um, tough kid and. and uh, Handled it really well. He did a great job tonight. One or two more. Uh, you guys had a season high twenty turnovers tonight. Uh, kind of speak on how you were able to overcome that. Well, what we did this week is we we kind of changed up a little bit. You know, we we started looking at our stats and saying, you know, we're scoring about seventy points a game, and teams are scoring about seventy two a game. So there's a very very small margin of error to win games, and. You know, I know we won by one, but we got out transition more tonight. And, you know, this is the first time we've done this this year where we started playing faster. When we play faster, you're going to have guys that are going to get a little bit more looser with the basketball. And so we just got to get that cleaned up. But I'm not happy about the turnover, especially some of the guys that turned the ball over um, tonight. They, they're, they're much better ball handlers than what they are. But our speed is what we're trying to push a little bit more towards um, and see if we can't start trying to score and then start relying on our defense again. Uh, but that's that's why we that's why we got 20 turnovers. Uh, we were careless with the ball too much tonight. We'll get it cleaned up though tomorrow. So uh, a couple of crucial points into the first half. A couple of uh, points during the stretch of that game in the second half too. It seemed to drop the zone. And uh, did you find something there? Because it seemed to be pretty effective. It kind of got them out of sorts. Was that just a matchup thing, or is that something that hey, if it works, we're gonna we're gonna maybe supplement it a little bit more than we I, have? I thought it was a little bit of both, uh, Jay. What what we were trying to do is. Uh, when we put that second unit in there, they're a good defensive team, but uh, I think our first unit with those three guards are, are bigger, a little bit more athletic. And so when we went to that, uh, that, that zone, um, with the way they set their ball screens, they run right into your guys. And where their bigs were at, I mean, it's, it's almost like we didn't really have to move. And they started making some adjustments where they started screening. They were taking the bigs and screening down, and then they were running guys to the corner trying to get those looks. But a corner shot off the catch – from a cut is one of the toughest shots you can take, and so you know that that's they, they started missing some of those, and and we just started countering off of that though, um, and then of course foul trouble, foul trouble a little bit. We had to we had to go to zone, but they're quick. I mean that that team out there is very difficult to keep their guys in front. Of you. They put a lot of pressure on the defense when they start going, and so our zone we were just trying to bottle that up a little bit more and slow them down. Hopefully, is there one more? Do you have one? No. Yeah.